okay, I got the the bow is shaved down pretty good. I cut the bow down to 56 inches, which uh, falls into the category of a, of a horse load. Uh, they were 56 to 43 inches long, a horse load, and which was good because you can move move it on horseback. You know, you don't you can. It's also easier to uh, easier to travel through the woods with and hunt with in the woods. Uh, this is. You can see the handle on the front there where I've got the handle carved. This is my arrow rest over here on this side. I'm right handed. Arrow comes off this side. Uh, I've got the general shape of the bow. I'm going to thin the tips. The, the tips go into, into about right here. So these tips are going to be much thinner and widening out to two inches wide. Uh, same on the bottom limb, two inches wide. Uh, you can see it's really sh nice straight piece of wood. Uh, anyway, it's all done by hand, all hand tools. Uh, and I'll show you my tools here. I've got a uh, very small little plane, and I've got the bigger plane I used for the for the edges because I want to plane the edges here. You know, plane the edges so that they're good and flat on the on the outside edge of the outside edge of the limbs and we want them nice and you know nice and flat it's also easier to draw on to draw the thickness of the limb on there when I go to uh, you know it's much easier to draw on a flat good flat surface and uh, anyway these two planes uh, got a uh, good wood chisel uh, it's like a razor blade it's sharp as hell uh, I've got uh, some files here. I use a rasp, a farrier's rasp for you know trimming horse hooves and stuff. Uh, and I've got a four in one, which is a farrier's rasp on two sides, it's got a rounded side, and a file on this side, rounded on this side of the farrier's rasp. Uh, you can get these at the hardware store for uh, four, four or five dollars at, at Menards. Uh, a half round file. Uh, and then I've got a rat tail file for the knocks and stuff. And then the very last one is going to be this uh, very small rat tail file for finishing off the knocks because I have to, when I put the deer bone tips on here, when I put the, yeah, I dropped it. And I've got these deer bone tips that are going on the end of the limbs for the for the strings to keep the string from cutting through the wood so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't break. And there's one one for each each limb. You've got two there. White tail deer antler. And uh, when I mount those, I'll file the string groove in there with this. And like I said, it's all hand all handmade. No power tools. It's all all hand tools. So. Uh, Anyway, I gotta start. Start. Uh, I'm gonna start on the handle now, and uh, finish roughing it in a little bit, I guess. Get the basic shape of the bow, and get some of this meaty, meaty wood off the back here. And now I'm gonna start on the handle. And after I get done with that, I'll start with the handle and uh, start the tillering, the, the limb tillering. You know, get the limbs so that they bend evenly, and because uh, it's still pretty thick, I got a little bit of. Still quite a bit of wood to remove here. I got probably another, uh, probably almost a half inch of wood there to take off out of the back side here. Probably a good half inch there to take off and down here towards your towards the handle here. Yeah, handle here. I got to get down, get it down to about a half an inch. And then I got to let it finish drying because it'll dry out much faster like this split and. Uh, it's also a lot easier to work with when it's kind of when it's when the wood is damp, uh, softer. It's a lot harder and harder to work with when it's. Uh, you can see where I've got my pencil marks here on the end here, where I've got it. You know, this is how the, the this is how thick. Uh, this is how thick the tip of the bow is going to be at the tip of the limbs, and it goes from here down one foot from the tips to the. From here, yeah, well, from right here to the tip is one foot, 12 inches, 
then uh, goes to this tip that's probably uh, three eighths of an inch wide there. Yeah, three eighths. I think it's three eighths. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's exactly three eighths. So, uh, anyway, I want to go ahead and do the rest of this and. Uh, I'll show what it looks like on the next part of the video.